Yeah, I think it's long overdue for our group. You know, two years ago it was canceled. So you're really happy for these seniors that they get a chance to keep playing basketball. Um, you know, it's uh, basketball is a really, really long season. Um, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. So for a chance to continue to play, uh, do something that's only been done uh, one other time here in the history of our program, uh, we got to take those steps. And I think this is one of those steps. And I think it's really neat that it's a doubleheader. Um, I think it adds so much value to uh, our fans. You know, these things are probably not celebrated the way they should be. Uh, the reality of it is there's, there's only one team out of 12 in the Horizon League to go uh, to the NCAA tournament. So you've got ourselves in Detroit and Fort Wayne all playing in postseason. A couple of other teams, you know, decided not to. Some were injured, that sort of thing. So, you know, we're fortunate enough we're healthy, uh, but we're also fortunate enough we had a great regular season. You know, we had 18 wins, and, you know, we're two wins away from the school record. It's something this group has talked a lot about. They want to accomplish it. you got to take it game by game. And I think it's neat that you play teams from different conferences to, you know, as you said, Ryan, wait on that matchup and kind of cram all your scouting into – you know, really about a 12-hour window. It's been fun uh, to, to see it. I, you know, you're looking at some of these teams in this, this tournament, Furman, Kent State. Uh, there's, some, there's some really good basketball teams. You know, it, it, this tournament is high level, uh, and so is the CBI. So I think at our level, you have to celebrate postseason tournaments. I, I look at this as a heck of an accomplishment because of what this group dealt with, with, you know, losing one of your, your best players um, to win 18 games, that's that's a heck of a heck of a year. So let's keep this thing going. But you know there is no bracket. This is a regional tournament. What makes sense uh, with the travel? What makes sense for each team? Uh, that's why they they don't announce the next game till after the results of the first round. Um, so where we could play? Do we get another home game? Or are we going on the road? I think the suspense of that's kind of neat. I think the scouting part of it's pretty neat. Um, but the bottom line is we got to worry about ourselves. You know, we got to stay healthy. Uh, we got to be motivated. We got to keep playing good basketball. Uh, we got to try to improve on some of those things that happened down the stretch for us. This is kind of a new start. Everybody's zero and zero. Um, and we got to chase what we're chasing. You know, we're chasing, you know, number one, we got a chance to win a, a championship in a tournament. Uh, it's, you know, I, I had new life last night, to be honest with you. You know, you sit around for seven or eight days and you wonder, um, you know, are you going to host a game? You, we knew we were playing in the tournament, but to finally get the opponent gives you that adrenaline rush as a competitor, as a coach. I know our players are, you know, trying to watch them and, and learn about, um, you know, a very, very good team. Uh, you know, I know their coach from over the years. He was at Georgetown when I was in the Big East. So um, he wins. You know, he, he's, a, he's a winner and a very good coach, and they force a lot of turnovers. They're athletic. Um, they beat a team in the NCAA tournament, Norfolk State. So, um you know, everybody in this tournament's good. That's the thing. If you're not ready, you don't play good basketball, you'll lose. So uh, we want to we want to keep advancing, and it starts tomorrow night. I think at first, you know, the disappointment of not, um, you know, playing in the NCAA tournament, I think it takes a couple days uh, to figure it out. So we're pretty strategic with it. Um, after about 48 hours, we started talking, and you could you could hear our guys, you know, get excited about this tournament and the opportunity to keep playing basketball. And, and listen, we have a great group of guys. You know, this is a team that, um, you know, all of our seniors are graduating. We've got multiple guys working on master's degrees, highest GPA in the history of the school, three winning seasons in a row. There's a lot of positive momentum for this program, not only our program, but our women's program. You know, this is probably, uh, it's got to stack up there with w one of the greatest years uh, both the men and women have had together. And I think, uh, you know, it shows in our fan base, the support, um, the excitement around the community. Uh, so this is a thing that can only be a positive for recruiting and really, more importantly, for our guys. You know, to have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back winning seasons three years in a row uh, at a place historically that hasn't done that, you're doing that with good people. You're doing that with chemistry. You're doing that with good players. You're doing that uh, together. Uh, so why not keep it going? You know, I, I told them, heck, if we – you know, we're fortunate enough to win tomorrow. Maybe they will send us down to Florida. Uh, although the weather's nice now, so, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe we want to stay here in town. It was about 57 today. So uh, you don't know where we're going to go next or if we're going to get a chance to play next. So with whatever we have left, let's enjoy this opportunity.